How's it going everyone? This is Mark with AtTech. In this video, I wanna show you our render machine, what we use to render all of our footage and what we've done to configure and customize this computer. So we've talked a little bit about this computer and I've only had it for a few months now, but we got this computer fully kitted out with the highest end CPUs this computer can possibly handle. And we're talking about the graphics card and how that actually affects performance when it comes to rendering and encoding video. If you haven't checked that video out right up there, it's actually a really cool video, but I want to introduce you to this entire computer as a whole, what we use it for, what it has and how it performs. So first of all, this is a 2009 Mac Pro. 2009 is really old and this is actually a 4,1 model. However, the firmware can be flashed to 5,1, which it has been done so that we now have the ability to install higher end CPUs and it can run newer versions of Mac OS. So as you can tell from these heat sinks, this is a dual socket motherboard, and that is what is running the show here. We have two Westmere Xeons. These are the X5680s, the second highest end Westmere processors and processors as a whole that this computer can handle. And in fact, in 2012, when Apple was still making this exact same computer, it's higher end than the highest end configuration. This computer was around $15,000 fully configured as we have it right here. So yeah, it's a pretty high end computer. So each CPU is six cores with around three gigahertz or so. So we got a total of 12 cores, 24 threads, and that itself is very powerful. But when it comes to video encoding, it wasn't doing very much of a good job. Xeons don't have Intel QuickSync, or at least this one didn't at the time. So you're not gonna get those enhanced speeds when it comes to encoding with QuickSync. So we're gonna have to offload that to the GPU. And what this came with was an NVIDIA GT120, very slow, only had DVI really. And we've then upgraded that to an RX 580. We've talked a whole bunch about that in the last video, so check that out. But that's what we still got here. This is the eight gigabyte RX 580. It's the MSI Armor one. And we're using this cable right here which will take the two mini six pins and then convert that to an eight pin, which it is using right here. We also have one more add-in card right up here, which is a four USB port hub. These are USB 3.0 ports. This computer only has USB 2, so at least you have a couple USB ports on the back. This mainly runs headless in a closet, so we don't plug much of anything into it, but it's nice to have the option. It actually came with that, so we didn't actually need it though. We have 56 gigabytes of RAM, one empty slot available in case we ever want to expand. And that is plenty of memory when it comes to After Effects that loves its memory, especially when you're actively editing a project, it needs a lot of that. So this is a really great workstation and render machine, which is actually what we're using it for. So like I said, this is headless in a closet. And what we do is we have media encoder and some other software running on this so that we can either remotely log in or just dump stuff into a watch folder and it will automatically queue and render everything out. Performance is actually pretty incredible on this thing. So my main machine that I use daily to edit our videos is a six core 2013 Mac Pro. This is a 12 core 2009 Mac Pro. Now the 2009 isn't necessarily something that is gonna make much of a difference in fact, this is exactly the same and even a higher end configuration that we could get in 2012. So essentially this is a 2012 Mac Pro. So when it comes to performance, it actually performs a little bit better than my six core Mac Pro. This has 12 cores and it doesn't perform twice as good, but it is actually better. We mainly shoot with Reds and Sony's at our company here. So it can encode those videos in about half real time. So a 10 minute red raw video can be encoded into our mezzanine codec in about five minutes, a little under five minutes. So it's a little under half real time. My 2013 Mac Pro is a little bit over half real time. So it's about five and a half minutes. This is about four and a half minutes. Sony footage is also exactly the same. It's a fairly compressed MP4 format, but converting 4K to 720p quick time is um, about half real time as well. When it comes to exporting videos, it is a little bit of a different story because we are combining a bunch of different formats and putting that into a different format and got a bunch of audio and color corrections, but this is the fastest machine we have in the office. So I am very happy and pleased with this computer. For the age, 
It performs exceptionally well, and it is a really great option if you are considering getting a old Mac Pro to upgrade. Just make sure it's a 2009 or newer, so you can install newer processors. If you have a 2009, you can flash the firmware to a 5 comma 1, which is what we have done here. We can install pretty much any graphics card depending on what you what version of Mac OS you want to run. And there's just a ton of really great things you can do with this computer. It is a tank. It is built incredibly well. It can pretty much run all the time. It has four drive bays. So if you want to turn this into a server, you can. And the best part is these computers can be found on Craigslist for incredibly cheap. So I got this computer for about $700, which included the two Westmere processors. So all I had to do was actually upgrade the graphics card, and that was it. If you want to put in a little bit of work, you can upgrade these CPUs and do everything yourself. You can even buy a dual socket motherboard for fairly cheap as well. So it's an incredibly cheap computer and it performs very well. You don't really notice that it's 10 years old. So. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching as always. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with that Tech and I will see you in the next one.